This is Math 142 practice test number two and question five and we're going to solve this equation for x. And um, so I noticed things are in terms of cosine. Uh, the other thing that I notice is that I have something that's in a quadratic form. In other words, I have something squared minus that same thing minus some value. So what I could do is, is try and factor this. So I'm going to think of it as just like if it was uh, 2a squared minus a minus 1 equals 0, and where a just happens to be cosine of x. So um, this, let me see, I want a middle term and negative 1. So I think that this would probably factor into 2 uh, times cosine of x, cosine of x. I want it to be negative in the middle, so minus 1 plus 1. That equals 0. And uh, yeah, God, that seems to uh, seems to work just fine because that'll give me a middle term of that's a positive cosine x. That's a negative two cosine x gives me a negative cosine x. So those two things multiplied together are equal to zero. So that means that um, either this is equal to zero. I'm sorry about that. Either this is equal to zero. This first term um, two times cosine of x plus one that equals zero or this equals zero, um, cosine of x minus one. So this would imply that cosine of x equals one, and uh, cosine's width, that only happens in one place, that only happens here at uh, zero. Oh, and are we doing it in radians? It looks like we are doing it in radians, so I won't say degrees. And the, the, the way that I know that we're doing it in radians is because um, in the directions, it says that it's limited across uh, this period, 0 to 2 pi. So that tells me to do my answers in radians. Um, this one, solving this one, subtract 1 from both sides. 2 multiplied by cosine of x is negative 1 divided by 2. Um, cosine of x equals negative 1 half. And the only time that that happens is here and here. Notice that little nice little symmetry. So there's my other two values that x could be, one of them being um, 2 pi over 3, and the other one being 4 pi over 3. And there it is.